All right. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Jenna. How's it going? Good. Can you hear me all right? I can. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining. Um, for those of you guys that don't know who Amanda is, Amanda is our full service director here at Turnkey Product Management. She's also one of our top client managers working with our clients day in, day out, really in the trenches of Amazon. So she is an awesome expert that we are bringing on today really to talk about the holidays. So, you know, today we want to talk about the holidays. I know that's kind of overwhelming for some people as we're only midway through September. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, we have Prime Day coming up, so they're also gearing up for that. So it is super overwhelming. But why it's important is because this is truly, this is truly going to probably be the biggest Black Friday, Cyber Monday that we have ever seen on Amazon. And the reason why is because of the pandemic. So basically, based off my research, what I'm finding is that Amazon saw a huge influx of Prime memberships in March, which makes sense if you guys think about it, right? I mean, at the end of the day, uh, grocery stores, everything like that was super impacted. So a lot of people switched to Amazon to get their basic needs at the start of the pandemic. So what's great about that is when people signed up for Prime, they signed up for a year membership. So they are locked in for a full year using Prime. So what you guys have this year is you guys have new Prime members that you have never had before, which is making this the biggest Black Friday, Cyber Monday that we are going to see on Prime Day, or sorry, not Prime Day, on Amazon. So what's really great about that and, you know, keeping all of that in mind is, you know, those customers are going to return for holiday shopping. So we need to take advantage of it, making sure we're grabbing every opportunity that we have. So that's why I brought Amanda on here, really to discuss these opportunities. So we're gonna talk about different opportunities that are available for you guys, some exclusive information that we have from our contacts at Amazon. In addition to that, we're gonna talk about different challenges that you guys are facing as brands, even right now as we gear up for quarter four. We've got those inventory limits in place, so Amanda's gonna talk best practices there. So we're really just gonna dive into it, really helping you guys create a game plan that you guys need for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and just the holiday season in general. So yeah. I think that was enough, <laughs> but I think we're good. So uh, you know, what? let's get into it, Amanda. So sounds um, good. obviously we have important cutoff information coming up actually on September 18th. We're recording this mm -hmm. on the 18th. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, what's coming up on the 18th, what people need to know before the 18th? Yes. So on the 18th, all your access to holiday deals, including lightning deals, seven day deals and coupon clippings end. So you need to be checking to see if you have any um, deals available to you for that time. And then if you plan on running any coupon clippings from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, you should have that discount set up now um, or before 1159 on the 18th. Gotcha. OK, that's super helpful. So we actually have this question quite a bit about these different uh like you know cutoff dates a lot of people are asking them about prime day because prime day had a very similar situation mm -hmm. um, so if someone you know is watching this back maybe on monday right the 21st mm -hmm. they miss yeah. out on the opportunity uh does that mean they can't set up any coupon clippings or anything or what what does that mean for that no, you can definitely still set up coupon clippings after the 18th, but if you set them up after that date, you do miss your opportunity to be on Amazon's merchandising pages. So what Amazon does is they'll set up these different marketing pages for the holidays. Um, a, a basically additional to like the coupon clipping page, there'll be other spot or like features for it. And so if you don't sign up by the 18th, you won't be on those pages. Um, and then you can also still schedule deals if they're available to you, but you won't get anything during the peak holiday time. So you'll probably get deals before or after those days. Um, so it's really important that you're checking for that stuff now, but no, you won't miss out on um, still being able to set up coupons and things like that. That'll still be available to you. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. So that is a question that comes up quite a bit, guys. So if you missed out, don't panic. You still are going mm -hmm. to have opportunities to sign up. You can also set up promotional codes. There's so many different opportunities out there. So yes, we're trying to push you guys to get this done before the 18th. But the reality is, is you guys will have time to set these things up uh, yeah. for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then of course, holiday lead up. 
Um, so obviously, you know, everyone wants to talk promotions, wants to talk about those big opportunities Amazon's offering, but we definitely can't talk Black Friday, Cyber Monday without talking about these new inventory limitations that brands are dealing with. So obviously, Amanda, you work with a large variety of sellers. We all do. And we are seeing that all of them are facing their own inventory issues uh, because of Amazon's limitations. So can you tell us a little bit about how you are combating that and really what people can do to try to get their inventory in to sell for the biggest time of the year? Yeah, definitely. So this is um, a lot of sellers are in this situation right now. And so something that we've seen work over the last few weeks is we've been making weekly shipments into Amazon and trying to keep our inventory levels as close to that threshold number as possible. Um, and we've seen over the last couple of weeks that Amazon is recognizing those units being sold and then uh, staying close to that threshold. And we're seeing that threshold number increase pretty quickly, actually. So um, the closer you can stay to it, the better. Um, now, I understand that not everybody can do a weekly shipment. It might be biweekly, but just do your best to stay close to that um, inventory threshold number. And I, um, you'll, prob you'll most likely see those numbers go up pretty quick. Um, as another backup resource, we recommend having a warehouse that can fulfill through FBM. Um, and that is going to be really important if you run out of stock. At least you have a backup. You can set that listing live for however many units you do have available in your warehouse at that time. Um, and then the last thing that you can be doing is you can get on the Seller Fulfilled Prime wait list. And so what this allows you to do is put a Prime badge on your FBM listings. That way you're not losing, you know, your conversion rate doesn't drop off, sales don't drop off. And when people are shopping like on their Amazon apps or on, on um, the website, they can still put in that Prime filter and your products will still appear. Um, and so one thing with the Seller Fulfilled Prime is that there is a wait list, but when you do get accepted into it, there's a trial period. And so you're gonna see during that trial period that the Prime badge will not show up. Amazon just wants to make sure that you fulfill their requirements during that trial. And then if you meet their requirements, that's when they put the Prime badge on for you. Um, so there's definitely a few things that, can, that you can be doing to kind of combat that inventory threshold that's been, it's been pretty tough on sellers, but um, there's some, you know, there's a lot of good things that you can be doing. Definitely. Yeah. And I mean, as far as seller fulfilled prime guys, yeah, you might not be able to use it right this minute. Um, just because I mean, the reality is Amazon can't just allow everyone to do it. They need to just like Amanda said, there's a trial period. So they need to allow everyone that time to do the trial and pass it. Um, so it is something to just do anyway. Um, even if for whatever reason you can't get cleared by, um, by, um, by the holidays or anything like that, it's still worth getting on the list because this is something that can definitely come in handy down the line, right? Just because we've seen Amazon have uh, inventory issues um, since uh, COVID. So it yeah. is really important to have this as a backup plan. Now, mm -hmm. um, one thing I do wanna just point out, um, we have a lot of, we have this question quite a bit is, how do I switch my listing to be fulfilled by merchant? So that's actually pretty simple, guys. What we suggest you do is you just make a copy of your FBA listing and you can just set it to be an FBM listing when you make a copy. So pretty much what you guys have is you have an FBA listing and an FBM listing. You're not switching your FBA listing to be an FBM listing. You just have both options available. And just whenever you do need to switch to FBM, you just go ahead and put inventory in stock on your FBM listing. So super easy, no reason to panic. Um, it's just good to have those set up as backup because you know you just really never know. So if you guys yeah. have the option to have a warehouse that can fulfill orders, highly recommend you just have those FBM listings set up as a mm -hmm. backup. Um, now, for those of you that maybe don't have a warehouse right now that could do that for you, please reach out to our team. We have a list of vetted um, warehouses that could help with FBM orders if needed. Yeah. So please reach out to our team for that if you guys need it. But that was super helpful, Amanda. So, uh, you know, going back to more of the fun stuff, um, <laughs> you know, promotions, marketing, all that stuff, what do you suggest that brands do for, for from the marketing perspective? You know, how can they truly take advantage of this season and really, really increase their sales over this time? Yeah, so there, I mean, there's quite a few things that you can be doing, but just going back to the basics, have your listing optimized. Um, if there's changes you want to be making to your images, to your title, bullet points, A plus content, whatever it might be, update that now. You want to get that, I would say have that updated at least a week before Prime Day if you can, and then don't touch it. 
and then try finish making the updates after Prime Day. Um, that's going to be so important for you before the holiday season starts. So if, if you've refreshed your keyword research recently and you want to add in some new keywords, go ahead and do it. Take that time now to do it um, before those big holidays before the big holidays happen. Um, some other things that you can be doing, so start thinking about your external marketing and what that's gonna look like. It's really important to have a game plan for this. So do you have an audience that you can drive to Amazon? Um, and then just start thinking about how you're gonna be doing that. I also recommend being active on social media and letting people know about your deals and using um, like super URLs when you're driving people back to Amazon through those posts. Um, same thing goes for any advertising that you do. I would recommend using a super URL. Um, and then the last thing is, do you have an email list? If you have an email list, email marketing is, I mean, always huge during the holidays. So that's definitely something to take part in. Um, and we, we recommend using it if you have that option available for you, if you have the audience built. So yeah, definitely just putting a game plan together for your external marketing and what that looks like is going to be really important. Definitely. So, I mean, here at Turnkey, we work with a variety of different brands and, and mm -hmm. each of them have different objectives when it comes to marketing and they have different internal needs um, for that marketing. Totally. So what what does come up quite a bit, and Amanda can definitely um, <laughs> you know, talk about this a lot, is a lot of clients uh, don't want to send traffic to Amazon. It, it's, a, it's an argument we hear quite a bit, actually, and, and there's multiple reasons. People don't um, don't want to take their customers off of their website and show them that they're on Amazon because they'll switch to Amazon. Uh, a lot of people don't want to lose that personal touch because unfortunately Amazon makes it challenging to connect with yeah. their customers. So there are a lot of reasons uh, that people object to sending traffic to Amazon. So Amanda, when someone objects to sending traffic to Amazon, what are what are your thoughts on that? How how can we have a compromise where we are sending traffic to Amazon but also not hurting uh, those other things that I mentioned um, previously? Yeah, this one's a fun topic. So even if you're not comfortable with sending traffic to Amazon all year long, I do recommend during like Prime Day, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, big shopping times of the year to be sending traffic to Amazon. So a couple of things you can think about is maybe segmenting your list, taking a portion of your audience and using it solely for Amazon. Um, that way you're not using your entire audience and people, you're still sending people to your website, but also helping with Amazon sales as well. Um, you can download your Amazon customer list. If you're not doing that already, I highly recommend doing that, going back and pulling that customer list. You can upload them into Facebook. Um, and then another option that we like to give to people is sending people who leave their cart full on your website back to Amazon. Um, people trust Amazon, people leave their credit cards in Amazon. And so it just makes sense if they're not converting on the website, well, let's get them to convert on Amazon. Um, especially when there's this much traffic, it's, it's just so important. And then, um, one more thing to think about is let's say, you know, seven to 10 days before Christmas, you're really, that's a great time to be sending a ton of traffic to Amazon because most stores can't meet that two day shipping window. And so when people are on the hunt for last minute gifts, I can tell you they're on Amazon, they're purchasing there because they're going to get the product shipped to them in time. So that's something to think about as well as um, during that time frame, put a plan in place to be driving a lot of traffic there um, to take advantage of the shipping. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think my mindset always is when people have that argument, like, I don't want to send traffic to Amazon. Like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. At the end of the day, a sale on Amazon is better than no sale at all. Just like Amanda said, there are mm -hmm. last minute shoppers. Um, Amanda and I are not one of those last minute shoppers. <laughs> no. It actually has already started with the shopping show. <laughs> I um, have. I have started my shopping. shopping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all good. But there are last minute shoppers out there, guys. So it is important to, you know, think about from that perspective. If someone is in between your product and another and you can meet a faster shipping time than them, you're going to yeah. win out, right? So yeah. a purchase on Amazon, it's better than no purchase at all. That's how I see it. Um, mm -hmm. If you have questions specifically, though, about that, definitely reach out to our team. We, we've yeah. seen different ways to make it work for both sides to make sure that you are still feed, um, still meeting those internal marketing needs, but but also still sending that traffic to Amazon. There's so many different things we can try out. So definitely reach out to our team if you have specific questions on that. 
Mm -hmm. uh, now, I mean, Amanda, before we go, I always like to ask, is there anything I forgot to talk about or is there anything else that you think would be valuable here um, just to help everyone out? prepping? For no, no, I think you covered it, but it just, no guys, it's go time. Um, it's time to put a plan in place. I mean, it's going to come up so fast. And if you don't have a plan, if you feel overwhelmed now, when it comes up on you in a month or two, um, it's going to be even more overwhelming. So just put a plan in place and, and get going on it. Man, Amanda said it's go time, guys. So that it's go time. <laughs> go time. So other yeah. than that, guys, that's honestly all we have for you, Amanda. But thank you so much for uh, hopping on here with me today. Definitely. Yeah, thanks for having me. Totally. And if you guys are wondering, you know, um, how can I get prepped for this, anything like that, reach out to our team. We love to talk about this stuff, um, yeah. as you can tell today. So please reach out to our team by going to turnkeyproductmanagement.com slash talk. We will be more than happy to talk about your holiday needs. We are here to support you. But other than that, guys, that's all we have. Have a great rest of your week, and I'm sure I will see you soon.